So I'm going to be looking at the Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. So just a brief overview of the story. So the Yellow Wallpaper is a short story that was set in the 19th century. It is about a young writer whose husband is a physician and diagnoses her with temporary nervous depression. Her, he prescribes a rest treatment for her, which keeps her isolated in a house where she is unable to see her child, do her duties as a mother, and write. She spends all of her days in her bed, and over time, she becomes obsessed with a yellow wallpaper. She relates to the, her, this woman to herself and eventually tries to free her by tearing down the wallpaper. So in the yellow wallpaper, we know that there are four characters. There's the narrator, who is a young creative woman who is of middle class. She refers to herself and John as just ordinary people in the text. Um, she is John's wife, and he has diagnosed her with temporary nervous depression. He has given her a rest treatment, which isolates her from everyone and forbids her from writing. Despite John's treatment plan, she secretly writes in a journal, and as the story progresses, her obsession with the yellow wallpaper grows. The narrator is the main character of the story, making her a round character because her actions and speech differ the plot. So John is the narrator's husband as well as a physician, as we've been over. Him and his wife are very different as John is a very practical man. He believes in cold hard facts and with that he strongly believes that his cure is benefiting his wife. John is another round character in the story, again, because his um, plot and his like things he does affects the plot. So Jenny is John's sister and acts as a housewife, taking care of the duties a woman would perform in those times because the narrator is unable to. Although Jenny is not one of the main characters, she is important because she adds to the narrator's guilt present in the story. And Mary is the woman taking care of the narrator's child, and like Jenny, she also adds on to the, narr the narrator's guilt because she is performing the job of a mother while she is unable to. She is a flat character because she does not affect the plot of a story, her name is just mentioned. So for this analysis specifically, I will be looking at the two main characters, John and the narrator. So we'll start with the narrator. So some traits, so we believe that she's creative and passionate, so we know she is a writer, and she still continues to write secretly after her husband forbids her. So this leads me to think that she is very passionate about her work and she loves what she does. Um, she reveals that she has always had an active imagination in the story, which leads me to believe that she's just a very creative person overall. And the way that she was able to look at the wallpaper and decipher that and kind of like turn it into like her own situation, I think really takes a creative mind. She also feels helpless and isolated. So she's trapped in the home and she doesn't agree with her treatment plan, but can't really do anything about it. And she becomes obsessed with the wallpaper and the woman she sees trapped inside and relates it to herself. I feel like what she did there with the wallpaper was kind of like um, just done because she felt isolated. She needed someone to relate to. She was lonely because her and her husband weren't really like communicating, you know. And then guilty. So while being trapped in the home, she un is unable to perform her tasks as a wife and a mother, and she constantly refers to herself feeling like a burden. This is when the other two characters come in, Jenny and Mary, because they kind of add to their guilt because they're doing the tasks that the narrator was supposed to be doing, but <clears throat> sorry, but can't because she's trapped in the home. So now submissive also it is this is like basic 19th century gender roles but she goes along with what her husband wants even if she doesn't agree with it she doesn't speak up about what she feels is best for herself so now john the husband so he's very caring he puts a lot of effort into a treatment for her and believes it will do her good and he's very strict to her about the treatment because he really just wants her to heal and he has the best interest for her He's also very practical and fast driven. He's only interested in physical facts and the narrator expresses in her secret journal how he is only interested in the facts. So this is a kind of an example of like a character speaking about another character and that lets us draw the conclusions about traits. So some supporting quotes, just for an example. So you can read the quote. So in this quote, the narrator is expressing her individual thoughts on her treatment, but then reverts back to what John, her husband, says. This, to me, shows how she gives in to John's wishes following her treatment, even though she doesn't necessarily think it's best for her. The fact that she doesn't speak up about how she feels she should be treated adds to her trait of helplessness. The situation makes her feel helpless and... Um, that contributes to her mental health struggles. This quote also shows a little bit about John. He does care about her and believe he's doing the right thing. And this contributes to his trait of caring, but also with his trait of pract practicality, he has a very confidence in himself and the facts and the ideas with her treatment. This quote too, she's speaking about her husband, tells us how he 